morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you guys doing? And insert rhetorical. Great. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Everybody's doing great by me. Am I? Yeah. They are. Cause they're sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else is sleeping but us. Um. So yeah, it's Monday. It's chest day, I think. It is chest day. It is chest day. It is chest day. Yeah. And our goal is to beat week two of this program. Okay. So we're at eighty percent doing a five by two, and then the auxiliary work is for speed. Uh, followed by Vanek pull downs. So an exciting game. Yeah. Yeah, and it's back up to the numbers. And I'm actually terrified. I want to bring that up. Since this is the first program where I'm like linear progression, but uh, professionally, and I have a meet on the 8th, I'm fucking terrified because I have to beat certain <laughs> marks every time to ensure um, personal victory, not. Uh, not powerlifting victory, but personal victory. Yeah, sure. So is that now? And then he's gonna get to the meet and Oh I'm going for I'm going for gold. Yes. One hundred percent. But I have to be realistic to the people that this is A my first meet. B my first realistic one year of proper form opposed to uh, just being juggernaut from Marvel Comics, smashing my head through walls as hard as I can every single day and not getting it. Brute force and ignorance. Brute force and ignorance. Yes, that's why they existed for so long. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So Super Bowl. I didn't watch it. I know Phil didn't watch it. He's like, you don't watch it. You watch it for the food and the in the. In the in I don't the know. I'm like, I don't watch sports. Which is gonna be like, oh my god, a Canadian dude that doesn't watch sports. That's no, fine. I don't, I don't watch hockey. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch sports at all. Yeah. Even though we went to a hockey game. Yeah. But that was fun. Yeah, that but was it, it was for. The company and the yes. beer and the food. Yes. Because we had company and beer and food. Yes, that's true. We had all three, yes. Yeah. So, this is why I knew, like, the sports events. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you get, like, it all together and... Yeah, it's a good, it's a good environment. It's yeah, everything. Yeah. But this was the first ever overtime Super Bowl win. And the Patriots got it. Boom! Crazy. Everybody, every Patriot fan is just now... They're going to be the most ignorant... Loud human beings in the world, and Brittany's gonna be like, "Oh, well, yeah," because she's a hardcore Redskins fan. I'm a hardcore Raiders fan, so I don't know what I'm gonna do anymore since they're moving. Oh, but yesterday she like posted that she like wasn't taking for the Patriots or whatever. No, she was going for Atlanta. She was heartbroken. Yeah. She was, she came in. So Brittany closed the gym yesterday. I was at uh, our in laws' house. Uh, Ryder, I even let Ryder stay up late and watch it. I think it's one of those memory things. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you gotta break bedtime for memories. And uh, Brady came in all gloating, 28-6, what's up? <laughs> or 9, sorry, 28-9. Uh, and then I finished with overtime win. Even though it's not my team, but I was pretty happy. Got to rub that in. Got to rub that in. <laughs> and my son was cheering for the Falcons the whole game. At the end of the game, Daddy, our team won. I said, nope. You were cheering for Atlanta. <laughs> nope, you don't get the, to 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 uh, victory dance. Yeah, a real victory dance with your dad on this one. He was so offended. He's like, no, really? Oh yeah. He's like, I want to be on your team. I'm, I'm like, like, no, the whole game. No, you can't make rules as you go. You can, yeah, that's it. It's all the life lesson right there. That's a good life lesson. It's a good life lesson. You can't jump off the bandwagon onto another. You do it. You got to stay committed. To your cause, regardless of the cause. Well, maybe.
Feel good. Feel good. Yeah, I'm starting to gain some strength back, which is like really nice. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Um, so again, background like I did for the last time. So Phil started off. What did you start off with? Chest, like a ten aside. Oh, like the first time? Yeah. I think I went like yeah, about like no more than that, maybe ninety. Ninety, yeah. yeah. Maybe ninety. So Phil, within a uh, period of two months, a little bit like three, three months, three he's up here two hundred five for five by five. Yeah. And then uh, three, three by five. three by five, three or five by three. Sorry, five sets, three reps. Um, and fucking clean. So your first two reps were always clean. Third one came off the track a bit. And by track, I mean it's that shoulder uh, to solar plex. I almost, I picture a railroad track. So shoulders are staying inside. Yeah. Our elbows are staying in one line, uh, parallel with the wrist. Wrists are as straight as possible throughout the process. I really flex everything. Um, and Phil was fucking checked out. One and two um, reps were perfect. Three was just off yeah, a bit. Yeah, three I was like always like struggling a bit. Fatigue, yeah. Yeah. And then. It's uh, okay. So then we, we did a five by three, which was 80%, for me, 80% of my one rep max. I did a 265 for the last three reps, my working sets, and I did 260 prior for two warm up sets for the five by three. Um, I felt super strong. My last set, my fifth set. Yeah, because you were stopping and like. Yeah. Like the getting off the chest was good. Sometimes, like, like your last rep, you were struggling a bit, but mm -hmm. like you're. Like the initial push was good. Like you mm -hmm. didn't, you didn't, you, you like you didn't like uh, it didn't stop. Like you know, like sometimes you go to push and you just and like, hit the wall. Yeah, and then it goes slow. Like it, it lifted nice and then like struggle like half. This rope doesn't breathe very well, and I'm really no, I'm sweating. Really I'm sweating really right hot now. I'm, in this. I'm, I'm hot. Oh my god! Oh, oh it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. It's because we're like yeah, we just finished working yeah, out. Yeah, we finished working out, and then like went straight to rope. Then we went to a close grip bench uh, for an RP7. Represented pain exertion, I like to say, but it's represented physical exertion of a seven. Well, how I determine that? So that's a uh, uh, an area of contention for a lot of people. Uh, I'm lucky because I don't actually have numbers for a one rep max, um, true numbers. So um, I, I'm 100% really uh, by feel, so it's easy for me to in my mind wrap myself around seven. And the reason I could tell that uh, 245 was my seven or five by five RP seven because on the last three reps, I really felt the effort in my triceps. So in my mind, that's telling me, okay, so at three, I would have roughly three more reps. So that's my RP seven. I don't seven. think you had three more reps in you. might have went like a little high. A little high? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I killed it. Yeah. You killed it. It's fucking good to go. Uh, then it was dips, four by ten, seated. Yeah. Uh, we put sixty pounds, sixty-five pounds on our, our uh, thighs. And I think we could even have like we could have put way more. Yeah. But it's about the speed on that one. Yeah. Then a hundred. Like pounds. I was getting like a little like cramp at like eight rep, but it was more like shoulder cramp than like tricep. It wasn't. Also with the dips, you have to pull your back, your chest super high to like yeah. reduce as much uh, shoulder. Yeah. I have a tendency to go like really low, and that's what like. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's all in that, right? Yeah. Like you go like kind of like 90 and I always like pass it. Mm -hmm. Either like go 90 or I pass it. Like 90, stick with 90. So that was, uh, that was today's workout. I feel really good. I uh, was saying to Phil during the workout, this is the first workout I was really nervous and I was thinking about on Sunday uh, because in the program that Jonathan Bird, shout out to you, uh, created for myself, he said in the program, beat week two. And week two is fantastic. And these numbers to me, they're very light in the world of powerlifting. To me, they're very not light and exciting. So I did 255. Yeah, but they're light in the world of powerlifting for people who have been doing it for a while. Yes. Not exactly. like, I just started. I just started, yeah. So I was really nervous that I wouldn't be able to defeat week two. And um, this is week four of our program. But yeah, I uh, definitely defeated it. I felt good, I felt strong throughout the process. And it was really exciting for me. And then, uh, yeah, you got anything? Not really. Cool. Um, I got one thing, I think. Yeah, I have mad anger. I get mad 
depression anyway. So the point of this is I don't want to label myself with that. It's like, I just have to work through. This is who I am. And it's like, I have to fight every day to not be that. And I was saying to Phil earlier, it's like, I don't want to be angry. And it's like, I have to fight every day to be like, nope, today's going to be a good day. And you have to be aware of it. So for those like individual suffering, it's like, just be aware of it, understand it, accept those bad days. Um, and like, let's find something. Let's create that like legit community. There's tons of people that all talk about this community. There's tons of Facebook things, that Bell Lex Talk Day. And it's like, everybody just spewing their fucking guts. But let's fucking do something about it. And let's actually band together and fucking kill it. Like, let's do it. And it's hard and it sucks, but I fucking got your six. That's, I think that's my fucking point. Yeah. I think that's good. Anyway, it sucks. It really sucks. My anger sucks. My brain sucks. But I have to work through it and feel positive. And, like, this kind of shit really helps me. So thank yeah. you, Phil. Anyway, I want to get that out there. I think it's important. I need to talk about it because that's what this gym is. Cool. And One, I'm, I'm oh. there for you. So, Thanks, bud. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. He is. He is. And uh, he super is. He's fucking... Yeah, cool. Anyway, <laughs> one community, one family. Let's make this world a little bit better. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let's make this fucking a huge thing because I had a lot of fun with it, creative process. So it is fun. What is this place? It's, it's music. What's it to you, motherfucker? 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 motherfucker. Yeah. Deadly comes in the hand.